Hello and welcome back. So I've been working on getting Derp Star playable, which is my 2D arcade game. And for whatever reason, when I updated to Godot 4.2, it completely broke the skeleton in the Space Worm. So this is the Space Worm boss. But I decided it would be a good time to kind of rebuild it anyway. So I was just using a static um, animations to make the dragon sort of fly around in space and that looked okay but uh, what I ended up doing was kind of simulating uh, wiggle physics or jiggle physics so you may be aware that they don't work very well in Godot especially in 2D so um, Anyway, I got this working pretty well though, as you can see. So I just used hinge joints and rigid bodies instead. And the hinge joint is a custom class that I got off Reddit, so I'll show that to you. But as you can see, now it reacts to the environment and it sort of wiggles around whenever things hit it. And I think that looks really cool. So I'm pretty happy with it. And eventually I would like to get Derp Star on Steam. That is the goal. So I'll definitely let y'all know if that ever happens. But I just want to get it in a playable state. So it's kind of what I've been doing other than working on Humanizer, which I'm also doing. So if you just search for Godot Hinge Joint 2D, um, you'll get a... I found this Reddit post from there and you can see he's doing pretty much the same thing um, so they react to the physics and wiggle around so that's pretty cool um, he didn't have any source code for that but I found he linked to the hinge joint in the post here so this is where you can find that and I will link to it in the video if you would like to read more but here is the pin joint which still works in Godot 4.2 so that's pretty cool and this is from gray cheeked so it works this is a this definitely works really well uh, give it an update I can't because I'm banned on on reddit but you should give them a, an update but then I made a worm builder tool so I could see where the nodes were actually, what they were doing. So I've got the skeleton under the, the worm itself is just a node 2D. And then I have the skeleton and these bones, I used to have cascading from the tail to the head, but it works better if they're just separate. So they're all just under the skeleton, except for the jaw which does depend on the head. So that's handled a little bit differently, but the main segments are just floating on the skeleton, basically. And then I have a rigid body for each segment. So these are the little blocks and I can turn down the number of segments. So you can see if there's zero segments, it looks like that, one segment, two segments, so, and then each of these has a hitbox, which is the rigid body, and then I have the remote transform to connect, to make the bone follow the rigid body, so under the rigid body you put the remote transform, you set node, you set the remote path to the bone that's supposed to follow the rigid body and then um, I did offset the position on the remote transform but that is how and then for each of the rigid bodies after the tail I have a hinge joint which connects to the current node and then the one before it so the, you have the node A is the parent node and the node B would be the previous one. So you can kind of imagine those wooden snakes with hinges. That's essentially what it does. It just connects back. And then I just left these on the default settings. I don't know. 
you can play with those if you want, but it's all pretty straightforward. So just a bunch of rigid bodies, and then remote transforms to the bones, and then hinge joints connecting the rigid bodies. And then I have these polygon 2Ds, which, um, so I just, I have the whole texture here, and then it just cuts out which part it needs. And so you have it set to the skeleton up here, and then in the UV, you can see that it is um, weighted on the body one. The body two is these end points, and the tail is weighted to the other end. So, and uh, if you're not familiar with how the UV mapping works in 2D, you should probably watch a tutorial on that. I did try moving these polygons under the rigid bodies, like as child as a child of the rigid body. That did not work, so they do seem, they need to be under the same transform as the skeleton, essentially, I'm pretty sure. But, so now, if you rotate one of these rigid bodies, you can see there's the bone. It's actually moving because of the remote transform. And then the UV map is deforming because it's mapped to these two bones here. So that's pretty much all you have to do to simulate the jiggle physics in 2D in Godot. Um, hopefully they'll be updating their physics engine, but if not, this works, and I just thought it was cool, so I wanted to show you. And I'll be pushing an update to the Derpstar repository once I've completely finished refactoring the Space Worm. I still have to add its attacks, and so like the laser beam, and then the body, the charge body slam it does. So I still have some work to do, and I haven't added the health bars either. But uh, I think this is pretty cool, so... Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and have a great day.